Hello all, what are green buildings? You know, a lot of conversation around green architecture, green buildings. So let's try to figure out what is a green building. Now green building started, this concept started in 1973 when the West faced a huge energy crisis or an oil crisis. And because of that oil crisis, the West started to think that we have to now make everything consume less energy and buildings are one of the largest consumers of energy so they thought we need to really really bring down the energy consumption of buildings so how would they do that they would do that through various methods and you know that was the first energy efficient buildings those are the first energy efficient buildings but you know when we look at these energy efficient buildings there were some issues with these energy efficient buildings because their only aim was to bring down the energy consumption of the buildings. Now, what was the problem with energy efficient buildings? A, they did not care about the total energy required to build the components of energy efficient buildings. Now that means that they did not take into consideration the life cycle assessment of these energy efficient buildings, you know the components required, the energy required to build these buildings. For example, if you use glass, now a particular glass, you know, maybe is manufactured some in a some far away country and you know it's very energy intensive and because of, you know, because of so much energy and water used in making that glass, that water even though if it is shipped to your building even though it might end up leading to lower energy energy cost lower energy uh, usage in that particular building but at the end of the day that glass because it required so much energy in its making is not a very good idea it's not a very green idea so to say because of the concept of embodied energy because this glass has now embodied energy this glass has embodied water that is not the operations usage of energy but the energy required to make this glass the water required to make this glass in the first place now another thing is uh, you know water efficiency which i spoke about in glass but overall a building should not only be concerned about energy efficiency water should also be conserved in a particular building materials efficiency are you using materials which are local are you using materials which are you know brought from sustainable sources for example if you're using wood in the building that wood or the timber should be from a sustainable source if you're using water for example that water has to be again of, of course from a sustainable source but also you know the consumption of water should be reduced in a particular building all the technologies or all the methods should be used which reduce water consumption in the building. So the initial set of what energy efficient buildings did not do that. And when we started to look at embodied energy and life cycle assessment, when we started to look at water efficiency, when we started to look at materials efficiency by having local and sustainable materials for the building construction, that became the concept of a green building. But was that enough? There were other issues, you know, for example, green buildings because of the lower energy consumption and because, you know, they tweaked the uh, HVAC system or the air conditioning system, there were indoor air quality issues. So now the focus was on A, sustainability, B, wellness, that okay, your building is green, it saves energy, saves water, materials are responsible, responsibly sourced, but is this building sustainable in the long run now this concept of material usage water these kind of go towards sustainable the next level of sustainability is net zero building can the building produce its own electricity can the building you know stay with the same water and keep recycling that water and be net zero in water now these are the concepts in sustainable buildings the other thing is wellness at the end of the day because we are spending around 70 percent times indoor we need to have buildings which are actually supporting our life which are actually helping us grow which are actually providing us a perfect environment to live in 
so sustainable buildings should also lead to our wellness and our growth so this was the concept of you know wellness into buildings now with this the shift gone to sustainable and wellness we are really really thinking that with all this are we not actually taking the full circle and going back to vernacular buildings now, a lot of you might say ki vernacular buildings might not be practical today but can we not take the concepts of vernacular buildings concepts means not the facade concept means not the design concept means the concept of local the concept of sustainable design the concept of light and ventilation that you know which is local which is contextual now if that is brought into our building design then we can have modern buildings on the lines of vernacular buildings you know uh, with all these things that i mentioned that you know sometimes green buildings kind of are not sustainable because of embodied energy green buildings have iaq issues you know it is because of these things that a few architects in india tend to call green buildings a joke so we have to really think what the future of this green uh, industry in india is because we have a lot of rating systems as such green building in india is unregulated because all the rating agencies that we have are either industry driven i mean they are owned and run by trade bodies or they are run by uh, non governmental organizations but there is no as such government regulation on how these rating systems perform and how do they you know kind of manage their creation of the rating systems operations and ratings uh, as such so there is a required need for regulation of the green building rating system sector so that you know there is a governmental control on how buildings are rated because eventually the green rated buildings get fir benefits and ground coverage benefits you know that is for another day but it's important for us to know that green buildings the concept is very pristine and this concept has to be taken forward so that we have sustainable future we have wellness in buildings so that buildings you know promote health buildings do not become places where uh, for example the indoor air quality is bad where there is spread of diseases for example ventilation is directly responsible for spread of uh, airborne infection because if you do not have good ventilation there will be less dilution and less flushing of the concentration of the virus which is inside so basically this was about green buildings you know starting from energy efficient buildings to green to sustainability and wellness so this was what was there for you today i request you to please write your comments in the comment section below and please like this video and subscribe to this channel thank you very much